Mark, always good to speak to you on this news hour. Uh, Mark, how dangerous is depleted uranium and how commonly used is it in modern warfare, especially over the last 10 years? Because Russia has been speaking about it being used in Iraq and the then Yugoslavia, but how commonly do we see it being used today? Well, first of all, it was rarely used in uh, former Yugoslavia because there weren't any great tank battles there. I would say at the most, uh, there were a couple of dozen rounds fired at the training ranges inside of Yugoslavia. Now, in terms of how dangerous it is, uh, look, this is inert. It cannot be enriched. It is not a capable source of any kind of enriched nuclear uh, uranium that would be used in a bomb. So uh, I, I don't know how Sergei Lavrov uh, reacts when he's told to say this on TV, but it's just pure propaganda coming from the Russians. and. Uh, I, I am stunned that this is even a news story. How do you think Russia's going to react once these munitions actually reach Ukraine from the UK? Because they've promised some sort of backlash, but what could that look like? Uh, I think this is just another one of the bluffs that uh, Putin is famous for. Every one of his bluffs where he's tried to change the behavior of the West has fallen on deaf ears. Uh, those bluffs, uh, were not acted upon. We still brought the equipment in, whether it was tanks, whether it was high Mars, whether it's now going to be uh, <clears throat> jet fighters. Uh, this is just uh, somehow Putin has it in his mind that uh, he can make these bluffs, fully knowing that nobody's going to react to them. And Mark, do you think this new um, military aid package being sent from the UK, the Challenger 2 tanks, these uranium enriched uh, munitions, how is it going to make a difference to those Ukrainian soldiers battling Russian forces right now, especially as we've seen over the last 24 hours, more uh, deadly attacks from uh, Russia in cities like Kiev and Zaporizhia, as well as the ongoing fighting on the Eastern Front in Ukraine? Yeah, that's an important question because I think we've got to recognize that we are having very, very close combat door-to-door, uh, -door, street to street in these cities. That's not where you're going to be using tanks. You're going to be using tanks if you conduct a large-scale counteroffensive where you're moving quickly, shooting rapidly, and trying to destroy other armored vehicles and uh, uh, especially Russian tanks. That's where depleted uranium was used in Iraq. Uh, these rounds tore through the Republican Guard tanks to the point where uh, they were decimated even before the American tanks came into range. So I think they would be used as a large-scale counteroffensive uh, by the Ukrainians, and it will be some time before they have the capability to prepare for a counteroffensive. But when they do, they can be assured that they'll have the best tank round in the world to fire at the enemy. And we heard from NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg just yesterday uh, looking at what we could expect from NATO in the coming months for that war in Ukraine, promising uh, more support. The U.S., of course, being part of NATO, do you think that there's the likelihood Washington will send any munitions with depleted uranium to Ukraine? Oh, it very well could be. That's a uh, tank round that we have in plentiful supply. Uh, that has not been on any of the $38 uh, uh, billion dollars worth of equipment and aid that we've already sent. But it could very well be, if there's a large-scale tank threat, uh, that we could do that. But candidly, the Russian tanks are being pretty well taken care of by the Javelin missiles and by what the, Russian, uh, by what the British are providing. And so these additive tank rounds will just complement what they've already had on the ground. And the, la the losses from the uh, Russians... Uh, the tank losses that the Russians have taken is stunning. And candidly, uh, even more so whether or not these rounds came in into the country. Mark Kimmet, always appreciate uh, your analysis and expertise on this matter. Thank you so much. Certainly.